na muda si mrefu umepita rais Uhuru Kenyatta ameluhutubia taifa na katika hotuba yake rais amezungumzia masuala mbalimbali ikiwemo pamoja na kuongezeka kwa virusi vya corona nchini Kenya amesema kwamba watu 49 wameongezeka hivyo kufanya idadi ya watu 830 nchini Kenya ambao wameathirika na virusi vya corona pamoja na hayo pia watu 17 wamepona na kuruhusiwa kuendelea nyumbani kuondoka hospitalini lakini pia watu watano wamefariki nchini Kenya kutokana na virusi vya corona kwa muda wa masaa 24 yaliyopita lakini pamoja na hayo pia rais Uhuru Kenyatta amezungumzia masuala tofauti e, katika vita dhidi ya corona na rais amesema kwamba kuanzia leo jioni hii mpaka wa Kenya na Somalia pamoja na ule wa Kenya na Tanzania utafungwa kwa muda wa siku 30 na kuruhusu tu magari au malori ya kubeba mizigo kuingia nchini lakini pia pamoja na hayo ile kafiu ama kutotoka ndani kwa wa Kenya kuanzia saa moja hadi saa moja asubuhi Rais ameongeza kwa muda wa siku 21 pamoja na pia na kuingia Nairobi, Mombasa, Wajia, Kilifi na Kwale e, sheria hiyo ama amri hiyo ya Rais Kenyatta imeongezwa kwa siku 21 na, na kukamilika e, tarehe sita mwezi wa Juni. Rais anasema kwamba amechukua hatua hii kutokana na kwamba chini ya wiki moja visa 43 vya corona ambavyo vimeripotiwa nchini Kenya vimetoka katika we, raia wa mataifa jirani ndio basi kuchukua hatua hiyo ya kufunga mipaka na kuruhusu tu magari au malori ya kubeba chakula that there will be a cessation of movement of persons and any passenger passenger ferrying automobiles and vehicles into and out of the territory of the Republic of Kenya through the Kenya Tanzania international border except for cargo vehicles with effect from midnight tonight Saturday the 16th May 2020 that there shall also be a cessation of movement of persons and any passenger ferrying automobiles and vehicles into and out of the territory of the Republic of Kenya through the Kenya Somali international border except for cargo vehicles and this also will take effect from midnight today Saturday the 16th May 2020 that all drivers of cargo vehicles shall be subjected to mandatory covid-19 disease testing and will only be granted entry into the territory of the Republic of Kenya if they test negative that the nationwide dusk to dawn curfew that is currently in force will be extended for a further period of 21 days up to and until the 6th of June 2020 that the cessation of movement into and out of the Nairobi metropolitan area and the counties of Kilifi, Kwale, Mombasa and Mandera that is currently in force shall also be extended up to and until the 6th of June 2020 the government will continue to take every measure that it can to protect the lives of Kenyans from this pandemic and to plan also for the recovery of our economy post the crisis the whole world is walking through the valley of the shadow of death however i know and i believe that with god's favor and strength and with the firmness and resolve of our nation as well as the fidelity of each and every one in keeping the enemy at bay god's enduring grace will see us into the light